What's up guys, it's Hatai at 7 RCT Gaming bringing you another video for you guys. Uh, I'm back with Back to Basics one more time uh, with another genre. Actually, today I'm going to be covering uh, the very first in the racing games line of Back to Basics. And yeah, it was about time. Uh, it's been like years since I had a, a actual wheel, a driving wheel for, for games and stuff since back in the Dreamcast days. So yeah, a lot has happened on the scene when it comes to uh, driving sims and, and driving hardware and stuff like that. But it's not about, the video is not about, you know, either sponsoring or advocating to spend tons of money into a driving sim type of uh, getup or, or setup or whatever is basically the contrary. It's, you know, having fun with the stuff that you have and if you need extra hardware, there are tons of options out there. Very, very on the cheap, so to speak. So my case in point, I managed to nab a uh, Thrustmaster and again, it's not me advocating Thrustmaster, but at least in this case specifically where I'm looking for a good ratio between price and actual features and it, you know, being reliable and stuff like that, I managed to get one from Best Buy. Uh, this is an old uh, PS3 uh, driving wheel that's also compatible with PC. And yeah, it's a Ferrari branded. They came up with different models later on. But all I can say, you know, I wasn't going after that because of any of the bells and whistles or none of that stuff. I was just looking for a driving wheel that had pedals that I could easily configure or at least try to tweak on my own so it could work with all of my favorite racing games. So here we are. Now, what games am I gonna test with this? Because yes, I have everything configured and I have a few surprises for later iterations of um, the Back to Basics Racing. But for today, what better place to start with the actual Techno Parrot games and the Techno Parrot pack that I, I made for Core and Obsidian way back so those are the games that i'm going to be showing here there are going to be many more i know that i should have you know began with the classics and stuff like that but i'll get i'll get to that soon enough don't worry about it but for today techno parrot is where is that and where i'm going to start and have fun there are a ton of you know amazing racers here um arcade versions of course and the first thing that we need to get ready of course is getting the actual wheel to work with it. So let's go over to the screen so you can see uh, how things are going on here. Now, of course, as you can see there in the corner, in the bottom right corner, Crap Cam is back into action. So yeah, we're gonna be doing some of that. Here's a little bit of a full screen and my beautiful, beautiful uh, gut that I can't call it beer gut anymore but you know it is what it is so basically the first thing that you need to figure out after you have the drivers and stuff for your wheel is getting stuff to work here now you have several options if you go into settings you're gonna see that you have in case I haven't messed with these myself because I really at this point with this wheel I have no need for it but it gives you options for full access for both gas and brake, or if you want them in reverse uh, order, meaning that if you want to have it, have the gas activate when you release the pedal, you can do it by activating one of these. These are for direct input. Now, if your um, steering wheel is appearing and it's working just fine without having to activate those, then you just simply go to the game that you want to launch or whatever. In this case, I'm using the same Techno Parrot that I have in the pack. So if you are one of the many that have already the pack for Core or Obsidian, and you're going on that, doesn't matter if you update it, it's gonna be the same procedure anyway. Um, taking, for example, Dirty Driving, you go into game settings first, you might have to set it on direct input. I say might because maybe your uh, driving wheel is X input 
and it's one made for let's say Xbox One or Xbox Series X that you probably won't need to have it in direct input. Now from here basically you go to control setup and once you click as long as you see the response as I'm doing here see it's changing with the inputs that's a good sign that you know at least uh, Techno Parrot is recognizing your driving wheel and you're gonna be good to go now as I mentioned before this is something that's a little tricky too in my case with the pedals I had to put this on negative X axis because if you go and press like gas for example if I hit here and I press it's gonna press negative but when I release it it's gonna press positive so you gotta be careful to save the settings while you're pressing the, the pedals so it saves it that way and not the other way around or if not you're gonna find yourself uh, letting go of the gas and then accelerating you know without wanting so yeah that's uh, basically it for that you do the same thing for the rest of the other driving games here until um, so you have everything set up the way you like it and then it's just some uh, fun to have so that said let's go here into core Now the cool thing is that I can actually use the driving wheel, the D-pad, to navigate around. But of course, since we're looking for the Techno Parrot, you need to go into Arcade. And from here go into Collections. And look for the Techno Parrot. Now, of course, uh, the theme that you're seeing here is made by Buddy Stain or Unavowed, which is the Million theme. Uh, pretty cool theme. I hadn't checked it out until recently, and it's pretty badass. And then here we go. We go to our... I'm gonna start with this one because you know it kicks ass. Now, of course, I'm gonna skip the whole loading process because, as you guys know, the Techno Pirate games have quite a bit of uh, some of them have quite a bit of a uh, loading time due to the stuff initializing for the, the cabinets and stuff. So, let's skip this. And here we go, you got it. I set the crank to the right pedal. Dirty driving. So let's do this. And let's do Thunder Mesa. I want to use. Ah, crap, I need to save a prof. Okay, sorry. Right. I'll use Battle Axe. It started. Not gonna mess with configuring the ride yet. That is just to show you guys. Crank it, crank it, crank the yank, yank the crank, crank the yank. Oh, yeah. 
a more arcade kind of driving experience of course this is not by any means uh, project cars or forza or anything like that but super fun nonetheless all right for our next one here we're gonna go back up there are plenty of racers here let's go with hey This right here is basically one of the main reasons that I got the the racing wheel to begin with because Mario Kart is freaking awesome. This game, this version of the game is freaking awesome as well. Don't know why it hasn't been done for the Switch yet, but you know, it is what it is. You can still enjoy it this way. I, I situated the item to the paddle. you know Is here, um, but I will cover this one probably one more after if I don't get stuck too long on this one to keep the video kind of uh, short. Now, one thing I wanted to mention before I start is that this one doesn't have any force feedback, and in the end, it's basically a blessing because given my setup on the desk, force feedback would basically turn the recording into a mush. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Still 
got your monkey. Saying, whenever it is that I decide if I go for doing a separate mount from the desk, I'll probably get a better, a better driving wheel one that has force feedback because that is another part that actually makes the whole driving thing, you know, more fun. But in this case, where it's attached to the table or the desk, in my case, uh, it's better that I don't have that force feedback because it's gonna be like messing around with the recording and the microphone which I also have attached there. So yeah. Give me my coins. Give me my coins, damn it. Gimme, 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 gimme. Now, of course, you're not seeing the pedals from the crap cam, but I did manage to uh, make for it a base because these pedals tend to be like, like for all of them, no matter what the price range, they tend to be very uh, small and light and they run all over the place. But fortunately, this one had some uh, screw mounting holes in the bottom. And what I did was, as you saw from the picture, I was able to uh, screw basically the pedals to the board and have that board not move around, kind of like stuck between the desk legs. And it actually works perfectly. Go metal, go metal Mario! Come on! Come on, I got this. Time to slap. Time to slap around, baby. Come on. Bam! See ya, princess. Oh, I got slapped with a stinker. Time, time to slap again. If, 
any of you guys get close, I'll slap you around. Damn. Uh -oh. Different wheels means different uh, range of uh, movement or motion. This one has, I think, only 180. So that means that at a certain point when I move it around, it's going to get stuck. There's other wheels, of course, more expensive ones that allow you for more range. But if you feel you're getting stuck, get over here. Oh, really? Now it starts slapping, damn it. And all the way down to fourth. Get away, get away. Oh, got him. I don't think it was enough though. Yep, second place. was that guys let's go to the next one all right for our last one today then I'll cover the rest in a later video let's do cigarette which is a pretty pretty awesome rendition modern rendition of the cigarette series let's go for it Championship it is. I like my Impressa. Subaru, choose automatic or automatic. manual transmission. Tropical. Let's go. Three, two, one, go. Easy right. This one is a game that I prefer to play in this view. Kind of isn't the same Samurai when it's in the inside type of cockpit view. Easy right. Easy left. Easy right. Checkpoint. Long medium right. Easy left. Come on. Easy left. Easy right. No. Hurry up. Final lap. Easy right. Easy left. Damn, I'm in position 21. Jesus. Easy okay. right. Over jump. Long no, easy no, right. no, no, no. Hurry up. Over jump. Hurry up. Easy right. Easy left. Time over. Yeah, that one wasn't so good. Let's give it a little go. Two, one, go. Come on, we can do better. 
Easy right. Easy left. Easy right. Over jump. Long, easy right. Over jump. There we go. I'm gonna get in the hang of it. Easy right. Easy left. Easy right. Checkpoint. Long, medium right. Easy left. Got this. Easy right. Over jump. Long easy right. Over jump. Easy right. Easy left. Easy right. Speed now. Easy left. Easy right. I got it. I got it. Under control. Hurry up. Finish. Well, 16th. Uh, compared to the first run, I think I did quite better there. Try next stage. Not a uh, championship level, but let's see how Can we you? do with the next stage. Three, two, Ooh, we got one, water. go! Very long, easy right. So you say. Oh! Oh, that threw me off. That was a dumbass mistake. Okay. Ninety left. I got it. I got it. I got Easy it. left. Easy right. Hurry up. Over jump. Hurry up. Long, easy right. Damn, not gonna make it. Crap. Time over. Well, that was that, guys. All right. So, yeah, guys, the rest I'm going to leave for a next time. We have Sega Racing Classic. We have Sega Race TV. We have OutRun, which is another awesome racer. So, yeah. And many, many others that we can cover let's just get out of here so yeah guys that's gonna be all for now I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, if you have any racing wheel or planning to get one uh, be sure to check this video out hopefully it'll help and I'll check you on the next one, on number two of the racing games, Back to Basics. So, take care, guys. As always, have fun. I'll check you out the next time.